Hi, first graders. We are on Knowledge 2, Lesson 7, Dr. Wellbody's Heroes. Our first vocabulary word is immunity. Say immunities. Immunities are resistances or defenses against diseases. The next word is pasteurization. Say pasteurization. Pasteurization is the process of heating and cooling something to kill the bacteria in it. And the last word is vaccines. Say vaccines. Vaccines are dead or weak forms of a disease that allow the body to defend itself from that disease. And now for our read aloud. Did you know that doctors have heroes? I'm going to tell you about two of my heroes, both brave germ fighters. Their names are Edward Jenner and Louis Pasteur. Jenner was a doctor, Pasteur was a scientist. Both lived long ago. Their work made the world a safer place for all of us. Germs are all around us. These tiny living things are so small that you can only see them by looking through a special type of instrument called a microscope. But even though you cannot see them, germs are everywhere. In the air we breathe, in the water we drink, in the food we eat, and on our skin. Most of the time, germs do not hurt us. Some germs even help us, like the ones in our intestines that kill off harmful germs and help us digest our food. But other germs can make you sick. They get into our bodies in different ways. Some creep in through insect bites or cuts in our skin. Others float in when someone sneezes nearby. Still others come from food that is poorly clean or undercooked. We have natural immunities in our bodies. That means our bodies have ways of fighting off germs on their own. But sometimes this is not enough. That is why doctors and scientists are always working to find new ways to fight sicknesses, also called diseases. One very important way that they fight diseases is by giving people medicines called vaccines. Vaccines give you immunity. That means they keep bad germs from harming you in the first place before you get sick. Doctors give vaccines by vaccinating people. That usually means giving a child or a grown-up a shot. Many people don't like getting shots because the needle stings a little bit. Sometimes they even cry. But vaccinations give us immunity to or protect us from very terrible and harmful diseases like measles, mumps, flu, smallpox, and polio diseases that can make people very sick or even cause them to die. Long ago, people did not know about germs. They did not understand what made people sick. They did not know how important it was to wash your hands, to eat clean food, and to drink clean water. They did not know how to protect themselves from getting bad germs inside their bodies. Sometimes thousands of people at a time would die from a disease as germs spread quickly from one person to another. About 200 years ago, an English doctor discovered something amazing. He discovered a way to keep people from getting one of the most terrible diseases in the world, a disease called smallpox. Edward Jenner, one of my heroes, invented the first vaccine. Dr. Jenner was living in a country village in England. There were many farms all around. Dr. Jenner knew what the farmers in his village knew. People who milk cows sometimes got a disease called cowpox. The disease made blisters on their hands, but it was not a very serious disease. People got over it quickly. Dr. Jenner also noticed that people who got cowpox almost never came down with smallpox, a much worse disease that often kills people or left horrible scars on their skin. He thought that cowpox might give people protection from getting smallpox. After a lot of thinking and studying, Dr. Jenner decided to test his idea. He decided to give a healthy boy a small amount of the cowpox germs. The boy got sick with cowpox just as Dr. Jenner thought he would. Then, after the boy got better, Jenner gave the boy a small amount of the smallpox germs. Just as Jenner hoped, the boy did not get smallpox. Dr. Edward Jenner, this brave germ fighter, created the first vaccine in the whole world. From then on, people were vaccinated with cowpox so that they would have immunity to smallpox later on. Many years later, because the smallpox vaccine was being used all around the world, smallpox disappeared completely. But Jenner did not understand exactly how the vaccination had worked. 
it was up to other doctors and scientists to find out. Another germ fighter and another one of my heroes is Louis Pasteur. Louis was born in France a year after Dr. Jenner died. As a boy, he worked very hard in school and was very curious, always asking lots of questions. When he grew up, he became a science professor, teaching at a university. He was also a medical researcher, someone who tries to find out what causes diseases and how they can be cured. Using a microscope, Pasteur saw that liquids like milk and fruit juice contain tiny living things called germs. Some of these germs cause the milk or juice to spoil or go bad. Pasteur discovered that he could kill the harmful germs by heating the liquid to a high temperature. Heating liquids this way to get rid of germs became known as pasteurization. Today, because of Pasteur's discovery, the milk we drink, as well as some of our other foods, are pasteurized to make them safe before we buy them. Just as important, Pasteur's work on pasteurization convinced other doctors and scientists that germs are real and may cause diseases. People began to realize how important it is to keep harmful germs out of our food and our water. But Pasteur did not stop there. He continued Jenner's work with vaccines, working to discover how to prevent many more diseases. One of the vaccines he developed fought rabies, a very dangerous disease that often kills humans. Pasteur had been working on the rabies vaccine for quite a while when a nine-year-old boy was badly bitten by a dog. The dog was carrying rabies, and Dr. Pasteur thought that his new vaccine would help the boy. Dr. Pasteur's vaccine worked, and he was hailed as a hero. He led the way for other scientists to make vaccines for many other diseases. Today, once you are vaccinated against a disease, you become immune to it and no longer have to be afraid of catching it. There are still diseases like malaria and cancer for which scientists have not yet found the right vaccine, but they are working hard at it. New vaccines will be discovered by other germ fighters. If you study medicine or science and become a researcher, that germ fighter could even be you. So if you are a scientist, you'll discover something new and you could be a germ fighter who is a hero too. All right, that is the end of today's read aloud. You may go ahead to the Google form and answer the questions about it.